Let's add a special kind of break, and it's going to be a cover page. It doesn't matter where our insertion point is. This insert cover page is going to, now we're choosing the Austin here, it's going to land on the page which is at the start of the document. Now this is a property document title, so let's Let's just type that in there. Abstract. These are all fields that are properties. You can see this one, it's already inserted the author. I'll just leave that one for expediency's sake and show you that these are properties back in the backstage. See, there's the title I just put in. And uh, I don't know if the subtitle shows in here, but it is something that travels with the file. Remember, properties go with the file when you send them out, unless you strip them out. Okay, so this light blue theme and these blues, when we do this step where we insert an Austin header, it's just going to make sure that the look coordinates with the look of the cover page. So. You can do that from the Insert tab. Header and footer are here. We can come here and put the Austin header in there. Now I know that you're used to doing our quick header when you double click. What really throws you is that once you do this, you're in the tools and they switch over to the left hand side here. So we can also put the Austin header in here and you can see it consists of the, the title the property called the title. And I'm just going to go to the footer because we can do that quickly here on the header and footer tools in the ribbon. Takes us right there and we will put in the Austin footer which consists of a the current page number. And that's how you do that. And I'm going to close out of the header and footer here uh, but alternatively I could just double click anywhere into this text to get out of the header and footer function.